excursions, and there there were several notable ones after the uh, freight trains disappeared. This is beginning to look like Pinehurst. Must have been a lot of picture stops. Amazing I could stay ahead of that train. Yeah, that's number two. Huh, somebody put that on there. It's MW302 on a rail fan excursion. Coming into Moraga. Real fans getting ready to take some pictures. Obviously not the one where we got robbed, so there <laughs> it's another excursion at using the Moraga station. Moraga Barn should be in the background there. I guess I left it off. Burton Valley. Burton Valley sheds and train stations down by the curve part. Look, the road is not paved very well, is it? <laughs> Looks like gravel road at the time. It looks like um, Release Station area, headed out into the area I referred to as the Swamp, where Olympic Boulevard now is. There must be a train around there somewhere. Looks like Walnut Creek. I'm trying to find it. It must have stopped for somebody. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm slightly beyond Walnut Creek, about where the, uh, the barge station is now. Here he finally made it, coming up the grade to about where the barge station is. A rail fan excursion. Still just past the BART station. The BART now follows that particular right away. Look at all those people running around behind the train getting pictures. There's my old LaSalle. Here comes the train through the. through the. Uh, uh, just past uh, the railroad crossing, I think. Full of rail fans running on the pantograph. Hmm. Looks like where he's paralleling the Southern Pacific and the Santa Fe. Good place for a race. But guess what? He's running on the, on the trolley pole, and it looks like he busted the pantograph. They do that if they get to swaying occasionally. See that piece sticking up on the pantograph? They got to go in a bit too far. There goes a steam train going the other way, a big freight train. And here we're going to take a look at our busted pantograph. And from here on out, we're going to have to run on the trolley pole, it looks like. Most of the people are standing in the inns watching the view. Typical of a rail fan excursion. Sacramento Northern boxcar there. Kind of looks like Bay Pointer. Port Chicago again. With all those tracks around, must be Port Chicago. And then we're headed eastbound, I guess. Yeah, here we go through the slot. Although this time, where's the train? This is the slot. Got to be a train around here somewhere. Here he comes. Probably stopped to take a picture, but this is coming back from West Pittsburgh. Rail fans all over the place. Stuck in the front window. Number three must be westbound. Headed out through the town of West Pittsburgh then. Now we're going up to Omer Grade. Some bits of the Naval Ammunition Depot showing up there, but you can also get an idea from the date by how much of it is not there. Often had low voltage here. We're between substations. It also looks like we got our pantograph repaired. Probably had to because we couldn't really turn around too well on the other end. Well, this arcade, another rail fan excursion. Looks like the arcade station. Yes, different rail fan excursion though. Got a good pantograph, heavy white flags, and guess what? We got the Salt Lake and Utah 751 on the back for this excursion. Here's the same excursion again. I believe we went down the Holland Branch on this excursion. I didn't get to ride it, it was full. No, it looks like the Y at Clyde. Oh, sorry. I guess it's the Clyde one. Yeah, here we're headed for somewhere around Rio Vista Junction, I think. Riding on the pole. Could go a little faster on the pole, actually. Didn't have to worry about losing the wire and doing too much rocking. Oh, wow. Just going to go across drawbridge. 
Looks to be eastbound coming across the slough. No, I'm sorry, that's westbound. I wonder how I got on that side of the river. Well, maybe he's maybe he is eastbound. No, sorry. He was yeah, he is eastbound. He's headed off across the curved trestle. Much of this trestle remains, except for the track. It was burnt, but there's lots of burnt stubs there where that trestle used to be. Today it's nothing but burnt stubs though. I had a new lens here. It looks like I didn't know how to focus it very well. Sorry about that. Ah, there's the trail bridge from a distance again, looking back, but no train. Well, that's the end of the Sacramento Northern. Well, what have we here? That's Bill Lear. It's the opening of BART. Bill Lear made a bunch of speeches, and he wanted to drive the train. He brought some interesting people with him, but they wouldn't let him drive the train. This is the first run from Walnut Creek to Oakland of BART. Over much of the same right-of-way. Bill had a lot to say. Sorry I didn't have sound in those days. I remember him more for the people we had with him. He wanted to be the first one on. I believe the gal is Miss Walnut Creek. She seemed very interested in Bill Lear. Bill and uh, Miss Walnut Creek and the mayor of Walnut Creek cut the ribbon. And that's definitely Miss Walnut Creek. It's amazing. Uh, you'll see later on when I took these pictures, uh, Bill was looking at me like I was interviewing him. Uh, he was up there in the front of the train wanting to drive it. He actually got to sit at the controls. Uh, the thing was that my big old Bolex <coughs> H16 was more impressive than the camera that the press had. So they kept looking at me when they kept coming through the train. I fell loose, huh?
Hope it doesn't derail. Thirty minutes. 